adventure into the black void beyond the stars. You are watching the unfolding of one of history's great adventures. Spacecraft past the limits of our galaxy. Presumed to be hopelessly lost in space. before we got clear. He told me something else, too. You don't shoot a man unless he's shooting at you. I know you must have a thousand things to do, so just... Oh, no. As a matter of fact, I just happen to have a free evening. And, you know, there's nothing I like better than a quiet, rainy evening at home, don't you? Hey, Patty! Don't go away. Hi, Patty. Oh, can I come in? Who ever heard of fixing a car in the house? Oh, man. As if women can't get along perfectly well without you. Come on, let's stand up, Gage. We can fight when the surf's not up. I'm hungry. Well, I'll go get your hamburger. I'll get my own hamburger. You're going to find out that at least one girl knows where she's going and can manage perfectly well without the assistance of... Ah! Hello. In a room. With a man. For the first time. That's the first time for everything, isn't that? To run. To talk. To love. To test your brother. Isn't that what you're doing? Liar, life! Well, I'll say one thing for that. Oh, Bear, he bred them wild. All of it, everything you told them, lies! Well, I don't fancy his breeding, miss, and it's no pride I got in him for a daddy. But it's a proud name, and it's mine. And I'm gonna wear it, and people, boy, howdy, they're gonna look up to me, just like your brothers. And everything that's Barkley, I'm gonna be, too. <laughs> How do you feel about New York City, Mr. Douglas? I hate it. Mrs. Douglas disagrees. I certainly do. I love New York. I'm gonna buy a farm and get away from all this. Of course you will, darling. I mean it. I know you do. You've been saying it ever since we were married. Well, I'm going to. And soon. Oliver, how soon? Well... How soon? Yesterday. 
Thus begins the colorful fireworks at not so placid Green Acres. It was an accident. An accident? So it was Custer's last stand. You want a scalp to hang on your belt? <laughs> <laughs> this is a cute one. I had this one made so people will say, Alan is losing his hair. Would you like that one? Or would you like a crew cut one that I had made for the summer? Or this one, my Alan, you need a haircut. Huh? Would you like these? What, 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 do, you what do you suggest I do with all of these now, huh? Well, there must be some needy bald people. <laughs> you hired. What did you tell him? Why? Well, he thinks we're spies. I told him that. You did what? Well, an American tennis company. We won Alroy's signature on a tennis racket. Man, when are we gonna learn? Leave the kid alone. He's all right. He's wonderful. Saw Goldfinger 27 times. Where do you find him, anyway? <laughs> Women and children. Why did you take them? Can you think of a better way to ensure peaceful cooperation? It appears you didn't overlook a thing. There is one small item of unfinished business. But we have a long journey ahead of us. We can discuss it as we proceed. Come along. Donna Reed will be back in a moment. Gilligan's Island, brought to you by Ralston Purina of Checkerboard Square. Makers of Purina Dog Chow, all you add is love. Living in a new home is not one long, perpetual Christmas. You understand these things, Ernie? Yes, sir. Are you trying to tell me something, Mr. Judge? <laughs> yes, Ernie. There are a lot of papers to sign and a trial period to be gotten through. But as of this moment, 
I believe we can safely say your name is Ernest Stanley Douglas. Huh? What Judge Leland means, Ernie, is that from now on, Uncle Charlie will really be your Uncle Charlie. <laughs> and uh, I'll be your father from now on, Ernie. Captain? Ah, don't you look pretty? You smell like a rose. Lilac water, Captain. Lilac water. You ran out. But you left your partners to take on Lazy Foot alive. I ran gold. out. Kitchen, you lit out. But, Captain, you left I... it high and dry. Why do you went out to hunt for gold? You're just lucky they got back in one piece. But, Captain, let me explain, will you? You can explain later, Reese. I've got an important business appointment. <laughs> I didn't kill Joe Chanock. It was an accident. You want more, don't you? You want details? No, I... I want to help if I can. Why? Because I think you need it. Why should you be the one to give it? I didn't tell anyone that you reported the accident. It's one more part of whatever happened. Here, you haven't eaten your cornflakes yet. <laughs> That's the outside. Three weeks to get your ground cleared and broken, you see in. I reckon 18 days. Using what for money? How do you figure you get the machinery and labor to get the work done? You think you'll get a bank loan? Not in your backyard. You bitter boy? Somebody treat you impolite down there at the bank? I didn't give him that chance. I know who runs that bank. You think I'd turn it down? Treat you unfairly just because I don't like it? You did say something about seeing that I don't stay around here too long. Correction, boy. I said I was halfway tempted to let you stick around this town just for the sheer pleasure of chopping you off.
with him? Right, oh, ma'am. Step right this way. Excuse us. Excuse me. Here you go. The Bobby suit, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hank. Why? Honey, what's up? Daddy. He's having a fit. He found out there are five unregistered students on campus. But does he know I'm one of them? Apparently not. The ones he mentioned were Howard Price, Harry Klein, Calver Oaks, Robert Perry, and Sigmund Ferris. Well, that's me. Which one? All of them. <laughs> His voice is much too high. I wish we could lower it. Maybe we should drop him down a well. <laughs> Sorry? It was only a suggestion. Gomez, darling, I do remember reading somewhere where if you put marbles in your mouth, it gives you nice round tones. You're right, Carita. Use mine. <laughs> NBC try and drain that. It's the drama of a World War II convoy's tense and hazardous crossing to Europe. A television series that gives the lie once and for all to the theory that getting there is half the fun. <laughs> Touch, darling. You're keeping me waiting. trying to forget it. Mr. Alexander makes his flight in time. Just call for our car, please. 